All right, guys, lesson 49. Let's start with our name at the top. Today we're going to start at the front. We're shooting for six. It says draw a quadrilateral that has one pair of parallel sides and one pair of sides that are not parallel. Now the easiest way to do ones that's not parallel is to make the bottom and the top parallel and make one longer and one shorter. Those are parallel and now these are oblique. One pair of parallel sides is actually called a trapezoid. So we just created a trapezoid. It's a quadrilateral with one pair of parallel sides. Number two, it says Cafele is, t today's lesson, is 10 years older than Hakim. Hakim is five years older than Siente, and Siente is 15 years old. So we know Siente, and we know Hakim is compared to Siente. So let's go and do those first. We got our three boxes, and the older one, Hakim, is five years older. So here's Haikim and here's Siente. Siente is 15 and the difference was five. So now we can find Haikim by adding 15 plus five is 20. All right, now let's go on to our step in the second step. Haikim and Kefeli. Kefeli is 10 years older. So the difference is 10. And we already know this guy is 20. That's hard to see, so I'll put it down here. So you're going to add again 20 plus 10 is we got a 30-year-old. Okay. Ugh. Messed that up. That's supposed to go in box number two. You guys put it in the right box. I messed it up. All right, number three. Bob's age is one-third of her dad's age. If her dad is 36, how old is is he one-third this is problem three mr bauer put in number three one-third of 36. now we're going to divide by the bottom number and multiply by the top but let's go ahead and make our dresser drawers how many dressers do we need three and then we're going to take 36 divided by three and that'll give you 12 in each drawer and you want one third of them which would be just 12. 12 what 12 years. Now we're on number four where I messed it up so we're going to use this box for number four. So I'll draw a diagram to illustrate and solve the problem on Monday. Five, six of the 24 students fifth grade were in school. The main students were absent. How many students were absent that day? So we want to find the opposite of five, six. So we got five, six of 24. I got my dresser drawer. with six drawers in it and I'm going to take 24 and divide it by six. You're going to put a four in each one of those. And here's five sixths. That leaves me with one six were absent. And when we take one times four you get four. And those would be students. Okay now remember that was number four. It should be down here. Mess those two up. All right, number five, multiple choice. The seven in this number, 754,238, represents which of the following? Face, place. I mean, that is about as easy as you can get. I'll let you do that one on your own. Six, write the standard form. Now we're just going to take the face times the place. So you've got five $100 bills, which would give you 500. And you got six... $1 bills, which would give you 6, and 500 plus 6 is 506. But we are cruising. Let's do one more. Number 7. Zuri and Kaya will earn $5 for water in the garden. If they share the money equally, how much money will each person get? Alright, so let's take our $5 and divide it between you and your brother. How many times is 2 going to 5? Twice. 2 times 2 is 4. Subtract, you get 1. Bring down the 0. 2 goes into 10. 5 times is 10. And 2 goes into 0. 0 times. I get $2.50. You get $2.50. And let's go to the store and get some candy. Alright, guys. Tackle the rest of those. If you got any questions, we'll catch you on the Zoom call. Have a great day.